So if you've been following our channel for any given amount of time, you might know that we have guineas. Those turkey looking things back there. Now, though I do love poultry, the vineyard ducks, the meat birds, and the guineas are not mine. They technically belong to mom and dad and they're pesticide free organic vineyard. And today I'm going to talk about some of the pros and cons of guineas and why we got guineas. After these homestead updates. You good boy. Yeah, this is my buddy. So it is mid-May right now, and as you can see, we've pretty much run out of things for the goats to eat. We still have weeds that are growing, um, but they're going to need better grass very soon. So what we're doing with this is we're giving this next pasture over here to the west some more time to grow. And what's gonna happen with this is because in order for grass to grow, it needs surface area because the more surface area you have on the blade of grass the more space you have for photosynthesis to take place and here it will take just as long for a four inch piece of grass to get to eight inches as it will for a two inch piece of grass to get to four inches it grows exponentially and it doubles in about two weeks um, so what we've been doing is we've been keeping the goats in the cows in the first pasture while we give the second pasture room to grow. And as you can see, it's already, it's um, significantly longer already, but we have to fix up the fencing before we let them in for the year. So that's gonna be our project for this week. But they should be happy in here for a good long while. And then they, and then once this gets short again, this will be our cycle. This is my garden update for today. And remember how Mr. Randy at Jacob's Triangle Homestead sent me all of these seeds that are Filipino because he wanted me to have a Filipino garden. Well, today I'm going to be planting them because some of them has been sprouting and some of them even have started to be close to a cotyledon. So, excited. But, and then I also have this Mountain Valley coneflower, which I planted oh like close when i planted today these and they have been sprouting but i'm not going to be planting them in one of these containers i'm going to be planting them in a big pot outside here first i got my little handy tool i'm gonna make a divot divot and then it's just like that and just yeah i'm going to be planting mr charles's seeds today i think it's a tomato i'm not sure but I've got my dirt ready, and I'm just gonna make little divots, and yeah. So, so here, 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 and here. All right, so I made these divots deep because I want the tomatoes deeper. Cause they are, so their stems can root. And now here's Trey with the guineas. So why did we get guineas? Well, some really great things about guineas is that they are amazing foragers. And like the ducks, they will go out into the vineyard and they will look for food. They will eat ticks bugs, insects, all sorts of things, and they will just go through those and be happy guineas. And on top of that, they're also very territorial. So if they get used to our property, they will keep out all sorts of predators, and it's even been said that they will attack snakes and even a coyote, which sounds incredible and on top of that in that range between the size of a snake and a coyote you can put mice rats raccoons and we do have problems with that so they will hopefully keep those out now there have been some complaints about guineas um we've heard from people that guineas fly and on top of that they um they bark similar to a dog if they are feeling threatened they will literally bark at the predator, at their attacker as they attack. 
because they're territorial and a lot of people don't like that barking sound that they make. I personally would be very interested in hearing this barking sound and me and I think that some of the sounds our animals make could be put into a music video. Who let the guineas out? Who? Who? KK doesn't like that idea, but still. Anyway, we don't really have a problem with them making noise. I mean, we have cows. How loud can you get? <laughs> Another complaint that is commonly said about um, guineas is that they can fly. Um, a lot of people are complaining about how they go too far or they forage out or they end up on, our, on their roof and that sounds kind of funny but we got our guineas and they were pinioned. If you're not familiar with what pinioned means, pinioned means that when they were a day old their pinion joint or pretty much their elbow joint was surgically removed and that means that they will never be able to fly and we already have enough trouble with our muscovies going up there so those are the pros and cons of guineas and why we got our guineas if you think guineas are cool and animals and are interested in hearing what they sound like let me know in the comment section have a great day and god bless did you know we'll be playing live beginning this summer check out the dates below or visit our new facebook page in the description we started a membership if you're interested in our band updates and helping us make our first CD. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget about the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. And remember, if you abide in the vine, you will bear much fruit.